Yoshi. I can't believe it's the last day of our vacation in the Australian Outback. OK, Dashi, I've finished writing my story. This is number 10 in my sisterly mystery series. You ready to hear it? <laughs> ready. Here we go. It was a dark and stormy Monday... <gasps> starting to blow. I have a feeling there's a storm on the way. <gasps> An octo alert! Let's go! Dashi, Kashi, there's a big rainstorm headed your way and it's moving fast. We thought there might be. There's already a lot of wind, Captain. And the dust is really kicking up since it's so dry here. The Australian outback hasn't seen any rain at all for a long time. The animals and plants will be glad of a little water. Indeed, but the ground there is so thick and dry that when the rain falls, the water just stays on the top of it. And that's why even a little rain in a short time could cause a flood. A dry ditch can suddenly turn into a raging river of water. Oh, that sounds dangerous. We need to warn the desert creatures about the coming rain. And help them get to a place where they'll be safe. Already on it, Captain. According to my map, there's higher ground over there. That's where everyone will be safe from flooding. Great. Dashi, Kashi... Let's do this! <laughs> Couldn't have said it better myself. All right, sis. Let's help some desert creatures. Um, ooh. Where is everybody? Probably hidden in places where they can stay cool. Mm, so we have to crack the case of the hidden creature. Oh, tracks! Let's follow them. Look, the feet are always next to each other. I'd say whoever made these tracks is hopping, not walking. Of course, it must be a red kangaroo uh, and a baby. Huh? Oh, don't be frightened. We're octonauts. Well, she's an octonaut and I'm her sister. But one day I plan on being an octonaut too. Or maybe an octo-agent. Or maybe I'll just write a book about the octonauts. We'd really love to stay and chat, but there's a storm coming. The wind. Oh, so hot. Oh, wait. It's not safe over there. We can take you the other way. To higher ground. Thanks. <laughs> Duck and cover. Back off. Duck quasi. <laughs> Smelly. You shiver me whiskers. Where'd that come from? Us. We're bombardier beetles. And when we're under attack, we squirt out boiling acid like this. <laughs> It's like having your own pirate cannon built right into your tails. And it has quite a smell, too. Aye, but we never attacked you. No, but they did, and he just swallowed one of us. Yeah, and now our stomach hurts. Oh, yuck. I warned you, I can squirt acid right into your stomach even for a few minutes after you swallow me. Ah, we've never met beetles who can do that before. Come on, let's go find something else to eat. <laughs> well, I guess you showed them, matey. So, you little fellas are new to this island. Yes, and we washed ashore by accident. We come from a teeny tiny island nearby. We were happy there, but then the water slowly began to rise. Our island got smaller and smaller. Then a big wave knocked us off, and our island was gone. We escaped on this log and drifted over to this side. The truth is, we aren't too happy to be here. Those frogs try to eat us. But even worse, this place is crawling with spiders. Spiders? What kind of spiders? Skull spiders, of course. That's why us pirates have always called it Skull Spider Island. Skull spiders? Why did it have to be spiders? Oh, don't worry, Quasi. I've been visiting Skull Spider Island for years. As long as you don't bother them, they won't bother you. 
I'm with you. This island is no place for beetles. Or cats. We need to find you another island. Shellington will be able to help us. Any luck? Still searching. Yes, there's another island nearby that has a large group of bombardier beetles living on it. Your beetles will be right at home there. Sending you the location. Thanks, matey. Problem solved. Hop aboard your log and we'll tow you there. <laughs> Wait, we can't leave without Bailey. Who's Bailey? Our scout. He went upstream looking for a safe place for us to live. Pete! Ah! Stay here and make sure everyone plays nice. Play nice, play nice. Quasi, let's go after Bailey. But, but what about the sk sk skull spiders? Ah, oh, don't worry. Like I said, they won't bother us if we don't bother them. Granddad, wait for me. Sweetie, I'm with Uncle Shellington. And Clem. Hi, Uncle Shellington. Hi, Clem. Hello, Periwinkle. Who is Otter Scouts going? It's great. Today they taught us how to tie a bowline knot. I'll show you. Make a loop and then you pull this through and wrap it around like this. See? Oh. Oh. Looks like you've almost got it, Periwinkle. Why don't you practice it a few more times? And then call me back. OK, Mum. Bye, Uncle Shellington. Bye, Clem. Bye. Bye. Cute kid, but you gonna help get these here rocks off the algae or not? I'm getting powerful hungry. The water's not very deep in this pool. Might be shallow here, but not over there. It's like a bottomless pit. That water's deep, dark, and cool. Maybe so, but right here it feels nice, like bath water. It's all this warm water that helps the algae grow. Yeah, but thanks to that big old earthquake this morning, all those rocks fell. And now they're keeping us from all that good eating. It's all right. The shaking stopped. The earthquake's over. Oh no! All that shaking stirred up a lot of dirt. No problem. You and Shellington can clean up the water, and Peto and I will clear these rocks using the octo lift. Hoo wee! That there plan sounds like an awful lot of hard work. Not if we work together. <laughs> With you pupfish helping guide my net, we'll have your pool cleaned up in no time. Hmm, pretty handy this here contraption. Hey, watch it, will you? Oh, sorry, Clem. I didn't see you there. No, that's all right. We pupfish are kind of tiny. Go, the water's all cleaned up and your algae's no longer covered in rocks. Ready, Tweak? Ready, Dashie. Oh, what is that? <laughs> That's not normal. Hello, Barney. Hope we didn't scare you. What in the watery world is that? <laughs> it's the new Terra Gup 2. Tweak just built it. I based the design on a giant pangolin. Armored body, digging claws on the front legs, and, as you saw, <laughs> it can roll up into a ball. Let's hope it can handle these rock slides. We better hurry and make sure no creatures get hurt out there. Uh, Barney, no time to waste. We'll cover more ground if we split up. <laughs> he does that kind of thing a lot. Let's roll! Oh. 
All you pikers, get in quickly. Hurry. <laughs> Here, take my paw. Oh, thank you. Welcome, fellas. <laughs> Don't worry, it's not so roly poly on the inside. Don't worry, you can ride with us to safety. But our son is missing. We need help finding him. Understood. Arnie, keep your eye out for a young Martin. I see him. We should be safe now. <gasps> Mom! Dad! <laughs> Good job. Looks like we got everyone safely down the mountain. My name is Elton. My name's Pinto. Your antlers are impressive, Elton. Are they strong? Strong enough to defend myself. Here, test them out. <coughs> We're on top of an underground sulfur spring. It's smelly. Mmm, and extremely hot. We must be very careful. If the ground breaks, we could fall in and get burned. Pinto, there you are. Dashie, Bernie, be careful. What's that smell? Oh, it's sulfur. And this is a sulfur spring. Like a geyser, it's heated by the hot rocks below, and the sulfur also makes the water acidic. Watch! See? Absolutely splashy! And dangerous! A good point. We need to get out of here, Pinto. But we have to help Dashi and Pani. Can you get us up there? Of course I can! Oh, but what now? Oh, focus, Pinto, focus. The ropes! Mind if I tie these to your strong antlers? Not at all. Back up and pull when I give you the signal, okay? I'm at the ready. Dashi! Barney! Pinto! What are you doing up there? We're saving you! Grab the rope! Got it! Got it. All right, Elton. Activate antlers. <laughs> Easy now. That's it. <laughs> you made it. Splashing. Cool. <laughs> Splendid. Thank you, Pinto. And thank you, uh, Elton, was it? That's my name. At your service. Thank you, Elton. And Pinto, well, that was some quick thinking. Without your help, Dashi and I would have been in hot water. Stinky, burning hot water. Even stinkier than that bombardier beetle. I'm just glad you're both safe. But now, we've got to get you home. Let's call Peso and let him know you made it home safely. Hi, Peso. I made it home. <laughs> I know. I'm standing right behind you. <gasps> we finished helping the sea turtles, and I thought I'd drop by to give you something. <gasps> An octo watch? Dashi said you earned it today. That's right. I'm so proud of you. Junior octo agent Pinto. Thank you. <laughs> Captain Barnacles. Aye, matey. Come on, everyone join in. Right, let's go. 